Now that you've accepted a tenant, the next step would be to formally draft a lease to rent the apartment and to have everyone go ahead and sign the lease. Um, the standard form lease used in New Jersey is the what we call the NAJAR lease, the New Jersey Association of Realtors uh, standard form lease, which is a about a 10 page, an eight, nine, 10 page document here, um, which is very encompassing. Some landlords choose to use their own lease, but I would say like 95% of the time, this is the lease that is used. And I will link a copy of this lease down below. Um, and I'll go over this form, uh, Truth and Renting, uh, in a few minutes after I discuss the lease itself. But basically in this lease agreement would be information regarding the landlord, the tenant, um, what is the property that they're renting, um, what is the term of the lease, when does it start, when does it end, how long is it, how many months is it. Uh, what is the rent for the term of the lease? So, for example, if it's three thousand dollars a month and it's a twelve-month lease, that would be thirty-six thousand dollars over the course of the term, paid as three thousand dollars per month. It's usually due on the first of the month, and who is it made payable to, and where the, should the tenant send the rent? And I'll discuss um, payment options in the next video. Um, information regarding the uh, security deposit that will all go in here. Um, information regarding late penalties. Usually the uh, rent is due on the first day of the month, but um, you, there's usually like a four or five day grace period. So for example, it's due on the first, they have until the fifth day to pay it without penalty. Um, and then after the fifth day, there'll be a late charge. You could discuss that with your uh, agent as far as um, the amount of the late charge you recommended um, and also any sort of processing fee involved with like bouncing a check and things like that. Um, what's util Which utilities are included in the rent, which are not included in the rent, meaning what does the tenant pay for and what does the landlord pay for? Um, a lot of this is like standard form information in here as far as like who's responsible for what, tenants repairs, landlords repairs, access to the property, the landlord, uh, landlords access to the property or their representative. Um, the um, information regarding the renewal of the lease. Um, how many months prior to the end of the lease will the landlord give for notice of renewal? And then how much of a period of time does the tenant have to respond and decide if they're going to leave or stay? Um, you know, let's say it's 90 days before the end of the lease term. And then the tenant has 45, uh, excuse me, 15 days to respond if they're going to accept the terms or move out, at which point the, the landlord could start showing the apartment um, to, ne to potential tenants if the uh, tenant decides to leave. If there's broker's commission, who, who are the brokers involved? Uh, what is that fee? It's all put in here. Window guard information. If there's a child under the age of 10 living in the apartment, the tenant has the right to ask for window guards to be put on the windows. And this prevents the windows from being opened where um, a child could fall out. Um, you could still open the windows, but it's only a couple inches. Um, but the landlord would have to provide those if the uh, tenant requested them. Um, and that information is all provided here. Who are the agents? What's the relationship, uh, their, their agency relationship, landlord's agent, tenant's agent, et cetera. Um, and then if there's any additional provisions, so some landlords have riders, additional information that they add to the lease, or if there's a pet, information regarding the pet. Um, so that would all go here. Um, and then everyone would sign it. And then once it's fully executed, um, everyone gets a copy. And then the tenant would provide their checks for the first month's rent. Uh, and their security deposit, usually in the form of a bank check, a certified bank check money order, or um, some sort of direct deposit to the landlord. Um, this form here is the truth and renting form. And by the way, all this is done over DocuSign usually. So we do this all electronically. We don't really do wet signatures anymore. So we use electronic signatures for this. Um, this uh, document is called the Truth and Renting. It's from the Department of Consumer uh, Affairs in New Jersey. And this discusses... Um, the uh, tenant and landlord rights in New Jersey. So you are to receive a copy of this. The tenant is to receive a copy of this so that um, everyone knows um, from a state perspective on uh, the rights of the landlord and the tenant in the situation, uh, in the lease situation. Um, so I'll link these down below as well. If you have any further questions about this, you can reach out to me at Walter at livingonthehudson.com or at 347-448-3766. Thank you.